Welcome to our review on communicating using waves. So when we're thinking about communicating using waves, then using electromagnetic waves is good because what we find is these electromagnetic waves are able to travel very fast. So that means that when we're thinking about communication, they're perfect for it. So if you're watching TV, listening to the radio, using a mobile phone, all of those use electromagnetic radiation in order to transfer the information from one place to another. If we consider mobile phones in a little bit more detail then, they use microwaves to transfer their information. And what your phone actually does is, as you speak, then your sound is actually converted into microwaves, which are sent from your phone to the nearest phone mast. From there, they're going to be then sent on until they're received by the phone that you're actually talking to. Now, what we find is that for these to work, there has to be what's called line of sight between the transmitter, your phone, and the receiver, the mobile phone mast. Now, microwaves only travel in straight lines, so that means if you've got hills or buildings all around you, it can sometimes get in the way of those microwaves and therefore prevent the signal getting through. We'll also find that our microwaves can be affected by poor weather or large surfaces of water, and if we're talking about very large distances, even the curvature of the earth can get in the way. So any of those could actually prevent our signal getting through, and this is why in some places you just don't have a mobile phone signal, or at least not a good one. If we consider signal loss then, first thing that can make it difficult to receive this signal is if we've got heavy rain or a large surface of water, because those two things are going to scatter the signal and therefore make it difficult to actually receive. Another problem we've got is that microwaves do not diffract as much as our radio waves. So this means line of sight is more important with our microwave signals. So what we actually find is that in addition to that, we can have other electromagnetic waves interfering with the microwave transmission. So any of those could lead to signal loss. Now to reduce the effect of this signal loss, what we're going to do is think about the placement of our microwave transmitters. So the first thing we can do is keep them relatively close together to keep the signal strong. And the second thing is we're going to put them nice and high up, maybe on hills and the like, in order to avoid obstructions. Now we do occasionally hear about the concerns people have with regards to dangers of using mobile phones. And what we need to bear in mind is that we're not actually sure what the long term effects may be of using them. Bear in mind that mobile phones haven't actually been around for that long. So what we'll actually find is that we can't say what the effect of using a mobile phone for 60 years is going to be on someone because mobile phones just haven't been around for 60 years yet. So we've tried a variety of different studies with different scientists carrying out these different studies to find out what effects there may be. And the problem that we're getting is that different studies get different results. So as a result of this, we've got no clear evidence saying that mobile phones are dangerous and no clear evidence saying that mobile phones are safe. So in that respect, it's very much a case of weighing up the kind of risks and you've got to make a personal decision then. Obviously, one of the things we can do is limit the amount of time we spend on our phones. And some people have suggested using things like hands-free headsets and so forth. So you're not having the actual mobile phone right next to your head. But there are no studies to prove either way, whether they're dangerous or whether they're safe. 